The Milwaukee Admirals have won four straight games and have points in five straight after a Wednesday school day game victory over the Lake Erie Monsters 6-3 at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Pontus Aberg scored twice for Milwaukee. Max Gort scoring, also Taylor Aronson. A lot of players with their picking up goals. Trevor Murphy picked up a goal. Max Reinhardt a goal. His Very busy day year, offensively and seconds. in the penalty box for both of the teams. Max Gortz has two goals this season. And mentioned that he scored on Wednesday. Nothing. He's Max playing Gortz very, very well. Second. Big, strong forward in his first year in North America out of Sweden. We spoke to him about the way he's been well playing. So Max, your second goal of the season, first on the power play. Things are things are going pretty well right now for this team, aren't they? Yeah, we have four in a row now, I think, and we are, yeah, like we're doing this together, uh, like our uh, like a team. Uh, we didn't do that at the beginning, but now we are we're doing everything together, uh, passing the puck together. We're not doing it ourselves, mm -hmm. like. Yeah, we're doing doing it like as a team. Did, I think. Did you need that time? Because the beginning of the season, obviously, the first two games, nobody really wants to remember. But it's gotten progressively better. The wins haven't come till recently, but things have been going better. Did you need that time to get everybody on the same page? Yeah, I think so. Like we're some pretty new guys here, like me. I haven't played in this rink before, it's a smaller rink. But mm -hmm. now I'm getting used to it, and uh, I know how to do it. It's more like cheap chip in and chip out. Pucks, uh, in Sweden it's more like you keep the puck and try to pass it more and of course you're gonna do that too but like here you have to uh, like take care of the blue lines you can't lose a puck there yeah. that much because it's gonna be turnovers and the teams are the teams here is so good that probably gonna score if you if you lose a puck there. Have you, has it been sort of an easy transition for you because I know that you had a reputation of being strong on the walls and being able to shield the puck and all of that with that in mind has it been relatively easy to make the transition from a Swedish rink to a rink in North America? It's, it's uh, you, you got the D more on you here because it's a smaller rink, you know, but I feel like um, I feel I'm still strong there in the corners. Uh, I can be stronger and I'm gonna be that the longer the season goes, but uh, uh, it's gonna, it's get better every game, you know. Uh, first couple of games I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't used to it, but now I'm getting better and have to pick up my head a little bit more and see what's coming to me. Yeah. Uh, you don't have that time here that you have in Sweden. So It's been, well, we've seen your shot, though, and you're, you're getting rid of the puck at least very quickly. <laughs> You've, how do you develop the shot? Is it something you were born with, or is it something you have practiced an awful lot in your time? Uh, I don't know if I was born with it. Because I, pr I probably had a good, decent shot, but I've always, when I was home and I was little, I always, my dad bought me 100 pucks. Uh, uh, and uh, since that, I've, when I'm home in the summer and when I was little, I usually shoot puck every day when I was home. Like I tried to shoot five to thousand pucks a week, uh, more, and even more when I didn't have anything to do. Like when I come home from school, uh, practice was three hours later, and uh, like okay, I can go out and shoot. Uh, so I think I think that's where I got my shot from. Do you have a, Do you have a little brother or a little sister that can chase down the pucks for you? Or do you have to pick them up yourself? Uh, no, I have to pick them up myself. <laughs> but but usually I shoot the pucks, and uh, my dad is coming home late. So uh, when I was little, I always shoot the puck, pick it up one more time, shoot it. So I shoot like maybe two or three hundred pucks a day. Wow. And then uh, the third time, I didn't pick it up because I knew knew my dad would come home and see the pucks, and then he picked it up. So <laughs> I don't know. I would, I would thank him, thanks him, so that I can shoot the next day. Yeah, that is pretty. Of. That is pretty good. Uh, add on the road now to Charlotte. Uh, the team has been playing well on the road, playing well overall. Uh, Charlotte is a team that came in here second game of the season and really, really took it to the Admirals. Is that in mind at all, or are you guys thinking you're a completely different team from the first time you saw them? I don't think we're gonna think about that again because the two, the two first game wasn't good, it wasn't not good enough, and uh, we don't think about that. We have four in a row now, and we're gonna build build on that and uh, and do whatever it takes to win that game, very the, good. the two games there. So very, very good. Keep up the good work. That's forward Max Gortz. Face-off tonight in Charlotte is at 6.30. Pre-game coverage will start at 6. You can hear the game on Sports Radio 105.7 FM. The Fan, watch it on AHLlive.com. For more information, go to milwaukeeadmirals.com.